the former Governor General Sir Zelman Cowan has died at the age of 92 in Melbourne. Sir Zelman was considered one of the country's top lawyers and a leader within the Jewish community. In 1977, Prime Minister Malcolm Fraser appointed Sir Zelman to the position of Governor General following a wrenching constitutional crisis in this country. And Malcolm Fraser joins us now on the phone. Malcolm Fraser, good morning and thank you for joining us. Good morning, Virginia. Can you tell us your thinking? Why did you think Sir Zelman Cowan was the right person for that job following a, a constitutional crisis that, of course, you were right at the centre of as well. Well, he was um, he was reasonably well known even then throughout Australia. He'd had a most distinguished uh, career in universities uh, as a constitutional lawyer. Um, I believed he had the uh, dignity, the seriousness, and certainly the capacity to fill the role admirably. Um, uh, obviously, uh, there was a, a significant element of healing involved. Uh, he, he approached the task with enormous determination, a tremendous hard work. I don't think any of us realised how hard Sir Zilman worked really throughout his entire life. Um, I, and he was not a, a political person. Uh, he hadn't been a personal friend of mine. But when... Um, his name came forward, uh, when I thought of his name, I thought, you know, that's the man. Uh, I, I must try and persuade him to take the job. So you, you had uppermost in your mind that this was a, a job that required some, some healing, some, some restoring to not only to the nation, but to the office itself. Well, very especially to the office, so that all Australians would respect the office. And I believe he carried that uh, task out uh, in a quite exemplary way. I, I, you know, I think we, owe, we all owe Zelman Khan a great debt for the work he did for Australia. He had a, a, a mighty mind. He was a, a great jurist and a very great thinker. But when you met him in person, he had a, an extraordinary natural personal warmth, didn't he? Well, he had a personal warmth, but he was also, um, in many ways, a very modest person. Um, you know, when I asked him to take the job on, the one question he had, but why me? You know, he knew what had to be done. I knew what had to be done. Uh, he, he wanted uh, wanted to be sure that I felt he had the qualities um, that would enable him to fulfil the task, um, not just well, but in a really first-class fashion. Uh, and... Um, you know, I, 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 I thought that was all rather disarming and this made me all the more sure <laughs> that, you know, I had to be able to persuade him to take on the job. It, it seems to me that, that following his appointment and the way that he executed that office, that he actually he, he changed the demeanour and the uh, nature of the people who came after him. Before that, it was a rather um, aloof and, and lofty figure who held that position. Following Sir Zelman Cowan, you really had to be something of a, of a man of the people, if you like, or a person of the people. We have a, a woman there now, thank goodness, in, in order to really to justify that job and to, and to hold it down well. Well... I, I don't know how you describe a, a person of the people. Um, he was followed by Ninian Stevens, who was the most distinguished jurist and a lawyer, and who also did, I, I think, a very great job uh, as Governor General. Um, Zelman Khan, of course, went on to take up a most distinguished role at Oxford University. That's right. And I can well understand that he would have wanted to do that, having regard to his whole career. Uh, and to his earlier associations with the university. Um, but, um, you know, it was his wish. Uh, he, he thought the main reason that he'd been asked to take on the job had been fulfilled, that the respect for the office had been restored, and he thought it was time for him to move on. But was by no means, uh, you know, if, if, if he'd shown any inclination for an extension of time... I wouldn't have had any hesitation in saying, well, you know, please, please stay on. Um, but, um, you know, I, I, I respected his wish. Uh, you know, in, in the old days, um, people used to select somebody from England who, That's right. who, who was uh, a, a noble, a peer, or, or something or other. 
uh, those days had long, long gone. And um, now we need uh, a very distinguished Australian to take on the job, man or woman. And that seems to be what, what we have now. Malcolm Fraser, we'll, we'll leave it there because we're running so short of time this morning. But I'm really glad you could join us. And thanks so much for making time for us today. Thank you very much. Thank you.